Hi guys, it's time to shop my stash. Yes, it is. I'm really excited because I really enjoyed using the things that I used last month. I feel like I used a lot of what I chose. There were quite a few palettes that I did not choose that I used, um, but for the most part, I feel like I did a really good job. There were a few palettes I didn't use and I'm going to roll them over into this month, which you'll see when I actually shop my stash. This was supposed to be out on the first. However, I have been having computer issues, computer compatibility with my editing software. Something's getting corrupted somewhere. So it's been a giant pain in the butt. Uh, and I feel like I can't get anything out because I can't edit it. And then when I edit it, uh, it shuts off. Like my whole computer shuts off. It, my computer crashes when I get to get to a certain part. So guys, let's shop my stash. All right, now there are a few palettes that I am leaving in here. The first one is the Nomad Paradise Islands because it is in my deck of panning and I still have to use it nine times. I'm also keeping in the Pat McGrath Bridgerton because I have not used it yet. I'm keeping in the Glam, My Glam Light Margarita palette because again, I have not used it yet. And the last one I'm keeping in is the Violet Voss Flamingo because, again, I haven't used it yet. I am going to bring in the Boss Babe. It's Buxom Boss Babe palette. It is the Dolly palette. I'm bringing in the Spoiled Lips Volume 15. This was gifted me from Ash. I thought that looked like a fun summer color story also bringing in my spoiled lips volume 19 this is the nevermore i just received this in birthday mail from cc and i have swatched it but i have not used it yet and i am looking forward to it because i previously owned this palette and it is lovely i am bringing in the blend bunny blends because guess what, guys? I've never used it. It is an all matte palette, and I tend to not reach for it because of that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm bringing in this, and then I'm bringing in my BH Aurora Lights, because it is all baked shimmers. And I thought that these two would look amazing. Like I could do some really amazing looks with these palettes. Don't you think? Yes, I think so. Okay, I'm going to grab a couple of ColourPop palettes. And I know I'm going to grab the High Tide palette. I have used that. It shouldn't have the color saver on it. I've used it like twice. It is so pretty. It reminds me of the ocean and I love it. And I have an upcoming collab with that palette. Also, I am bringing in the That's Taupe palette. It has been a while since I've used this one and I want to use it some more. I do already have a little pan in there. I'm gonna see if I can, if I can make a couple more. And then I'm also going to bring in the Lavish palette. I just got this from ColourPop when it released in April. It is a beautiful purple color story. I have some little bit bigger, and I want to do the Miami Nights. I have not used this yet. I got this from Mary Catherine Loves Cats. And it is very, very pretty, and I have not used it yet, and I want to use it. I'm going to bring in the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk. I got this from Ash. They decluttered it and gave it to me. So that's a really beautiful neutral palette. I don't show my small palettes enough love. I'm going to 
pull in a couple of super shops. Um, I'm definitely going to pull a couple that I just got. This is the So Surreal. And that is what she looks like. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So we got a purple. And we're going to do a light pink, but I always reach for the same ones. So I'm not doing that. I'm going to bring in the party of five, which is this one right here. And I'm going to pull in, I think, plum, which is this one here. It's a very pretty pink, but I always choose bubbly, bubbly, and in the saddle, I always choose those, so I'm not doing that. And then for some fancy, I want to do Mountain Lion, which is one of my favorites. And Ice Dream. It looks a lot like Mountain Lion, but it has more of a blue shift to it than a pink. That's a lot of super shocks, you guys. Those were all my cool super shocks. These are my warm super shocks. Um, I'm going to pull in this one. This was from the, they had a thing where they donated to one of the pet charities, and this is called Mutts About You. I'm going to do that one. Okay, I'm going to pull some primers. I'm definitely going to pull the Farsali because I've been using that a lot and I love it. I've been using it with the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer, but I'm going to try another primer with it. I am going to actually keep this one in because it's almost empty. And I need to use it because it's starting to dry up. I can tell. Um, I brought this in last month. And I'm going to bring this back. Because I like it. And it's just a mini. And I'd like to use it. Use it up. So I think that's all for those. I'm going to go back to my Urban Decay. I've been using my e.l.f. Um, eye primer. I'm going to go back to my Urban Decay. That doesn't belong there. I've been looking for that. Okay, I need a glow primer and I'm going to choose my e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This one is in medium four. So I'm going to choose that one. And I'm going to stick with my Lumi Glotion because it is almost gone. I've been saying it's almost gone for a, a, quite a while now, but it's it's probably, it's got to be down here now. Um, there's a lot of air in it, so I'm going to have to squeeze some air out of it and see what I can do with that. So that I can see how much I have left to go. Okay, here are my foundations. Now I do already have one foundation in my deck of panning, and that is there, so I am going to be working on that. And then I'm going to bring in this one again because I don't care for it and I want to use it up. I don't care for it, you guys. It does not do well for me. So I'm going to try to get through it. And if, if I just can't, then I'm going to declutter it. But I'm going to really try. And I think that's it because I have both of those that I'm working on. And if I need another foundation, I'll just pull one. Okay, so concealers. I have this concealer on my 
vanity, my desk over here, and I'm going to keep it in and it sits up straight like this because as you can see, it's a mess. I hate this packaging, but I have already haven't had to take the stopper out of it because it's almost empty. So I'm going to continue to use that. And then I also have my elf hydrating over there and I have both of these over there and I'm going to keep them. These are both light beige and I use these for brightening my like my nose chin forehead um, but as you can see the windowing there these are both almost gone so I'm trying to use all of those up these are like these three here are brand new and so I'm going to wait to open those um, this I don't care for but it really doesn't have a whole lot left in it okay so for contour Okay, we're going to pick powders, and I'm definitely going to pick my e.l.f. Halo Glow Finishing Powder. I used that the other day, and it was lovely. Um, it just gave a nice finish to everything. And then, I think I'm going to choose, I think I'm going to go with my e.l.f. HD Powder. As you can see, um, I've been working on it pretty good, so I have less of that, I think, than than my, you can see, but my Wet n Wild setting powder is getting down there too, and I'm not going to open up, um, these two are newer, so I don't really want to open them yet, they haven't been opened, this is the 16 hour it's a powder foundation but i'm going to use it as a setting powder and then bronzers i got a lot of use out of this melt last month you can see i used quite a bit of it i've been using this revolution cream bronzer i showed this in my favorites you can see the pan in there i have used the heck out of it so i think i'm going to stick with that elf uh, concealer for my liquid bronzer. I am going to pull this out here for a powder contour if I want it. And I'm going to stick with those. I don't think I'm going to bring in a different cream bronzer. I don't think I'm going to. I really don't know where that, I really wish I knew where that elf contour was. I just found it. It was just sitting there the whole time. This is what it looks like. But as you can see, it's been sitting up. And as you can see the windowing there, so it's almost gone. And using it as a contour, I will use up more of it than I will using it as anything else. Okay, let's go with some powder blushes. I have been using this one a lot this month because I had some warmer tones. It's so pretty. But we're going to show some of these others some love. I've never used this. This is my Laura Geller Tropic Hues Baked Blush. It's very pretty. I'm going to use that. I'm not going to pick too many blushes because I do have two blushes in my 50 Shades of Yellow that I need to start using. 50 Shades of Yellow Gold. Um, some of these are really light for me right now. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this one again. This is my Elf Primer Infused. I'm gonna use some more of that. That is a really pretty neutral. I can use it with warm or cool. And let's see, we need another cool, like really cool one. So I think I'm going to choose my ColourPop. This is called Just My Pluck, and that is a cool. Um, more like a purpley, light purpley, mauve shade. 
So I'm going to try those. I'm going to use those. Okay, cream blushes. I already have one in my deck of panning, which is this multi-chrome, uh, monochrome, monochromatic. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. With my Danessa Myricks, this here. This is in ballet slippers. And I'm going to go with my So Susan Color Crush. It's a very light pink. Okay, for highlighters, I have these. Um, I do have my Jacqueline. I do have my Jacqueline in my 50 shades of gold. So that's nice for a gold primer. It's 50 shades of yellow slash gold. So gold packaging, yellow packaging, whatever. Um, I'm going to I need something that's a cool undertone. I do have my Glam Light Concha which is kind of a purpley. I do have that in my, also in my um, 50 shades of yellow or gold. I have one that's pink. Where is it? Yeah, here it is. I'm gonna use this one, this color pop one. And that is soft pink. Okay, and now we're going to go with the cream highlights. These are my loose highlighters over here. Um, I think I feel like this one's almost gone, but I just I just got a pink one out. Um, I am going to go with both of these. I've been using them last month a little bit. And I love them, so I'm going to use them. And then I'm also going to pull this So Susan. It is called Light Odyssey, and it has a orangey, a little bit orangey, peachy highlight to it. So I'm going to choose those two. I'm going to pull my copacetic singles out. And then I always have my Cleona sitting on my desk. So I might use those too. So I will put that up there. And I think that's it. I think that's it, you guys. I think I picked a good amount. Some people might think it's a little excessive. Um, I like variety. So that's it, you guys. Those are the items that I chose this month. Uh, I'm really excited. Some things that um, are almost empty and I might actually be able to finish them and get them out of my collection. Also, uh, there are some new items that I'm going, that I'm bringing in that I'm excited to use and see how they are. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Let me know in the comments below whether you have a channel or not. If you're shopping your stash this month, if you usually shop your stash, um, I have been really into using my stuff. Yeah, I have bought some stuff, I have, uh, but I've been really into using the things that I already have and I'm really liking it. So let me know, let me know in the comments. I really appreciate you guys being here and until our next adventure, everyone have a great day and we'll see you later.